What was your relationship to food growing up? So, um, in my life and with most people, I feel like um, food is seen as something that you go to the grocery store to get, you bring home, you eat it, and then it goes in the garbage can. And then growing up, of course, it's like, I didn't even buy the food, it just showed up in the fridge. Maybe I'd come with my parents to a grocery store to get it, but then also, once it's in the garbage can, that's like this mysterious container that <laughs> things go into and then they're gone. Like, I didn't know where the garbage went, who took it out. So, um, I realized how uh, much food we're throwing away. And I did not know this, and I feel dumb not knowing it, but I feel like it, maybe it's something that people don't know, is that when you throw something in the garbage, uh, food in the garbage, it's not the same as throwing it at the compost. <laughs> um, because it doesn't decompose properly in the garbage. When it goes to the landfill, I just thought like, okay, it'll turn into soil. But it doesn't. Unless you compost it properly, it is just another CO2 emitter. How do you feel about vegetables today? How do you feel about vegetables today? What do you have to do today? Like, what's the, oh my God. the event? Oh, for this? Yeah. Um, so we are, that's a question. We are teaming up with the Health Nurse Wellness Week and the Adult Development Students Association to make a cooking workshop and discussion. So we're going to teach them how we do it at PRD. Republic of Delicious, or PRD, is um, an alternative food collective at the University of Ottawa. Basically what we do is we collect food from grocery stores that would have been thrown away. Uh, right now we're getting donations from Urban Spice on Bank Street. Um, they're wonderful. And we get 40, 50 pounds a week from one small grocery store. One small grocery store, 40 and 50 pounds a week of food that would have been thrown out because it can't be sold. And that's not because it's not edible, it's because it doesn't look perfect. Um, and I was speaking before about uh, how I used to just throw away the whole celery. Well, there's a, a, a lot of wiggle room, there's like a fluidity to it. It's not so black and white, bad food, good food. There can be bad parts of edible food. And I think that's what you really learn when you're dealing with food waste is that um, it can't just be cast aside so easily. There's so, there's a, a gray area between that black and white, like it's perfect and you can sell it and it's too rotten. Um, and we really impose those categories um, in our society on food. Like we say what's perfect food. We even say what a perfect tomato or what a perfect apple looks like. We're the ones who say that. You've arrived at your destination. Let me squeeze this in. There's not a spill risk anymore. So then we're at PRD and we're looking at the food and how uh, how much can be made out of stuff that would have been thrown away and that we would have thrown away and those are skills that we can bring home to um, our own kitchens and maybe be a little bit more flexible, maybe a little bit more um, creative with the food because 
uh, we end up pairing things we never thought would go together. Like, okay, like radishes. I don't know what to do with it. There's a very few things I know have radishes in them. But then when you're doing a stir fry and there's radishes, you're like, okay, why not throw the radishes in there? And then you end up thinking, okay, I guess radishes and stir fry are okay. Then when you go to home and make a stir fry, you end up using those radishes you were going to throw away. Like that kind of stuff. It's those little changes that we hope we hope get brought home. What are you making over here? We are making rice with rice. Yeah. So we have carrots, uh, celery, oh, gamber, green onion, uh, pickled right. radish, yeah. radish. Yeah. ginger, 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 ginger. 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 tomatoes, peppers. Interesting. Thank you. What are you making over here? Uh, we are making a fruit salad. Pineapple, apple. Yeah. Anything else? Well, I'm making bread pudding. Oh. Yeah. Uh, with apples and cinnamon. Yeah. yeah. And then chopped up bread. Yes. Nice. Okay. So today, wait. It's hard to hear. Today I made. The zucchini tomato thing, what should I say, saute, and it's like a Greek recipe, um, or my take on it, it should have mint in it, but um, basically it's zucchini or eggplant and eggplant or potatoes too, and then there's mashed um, tomatoes and olive oil, garlic powder, preferably fresh garlic, but we do what we can here, we work with what we have, and parsley. So. Smells really good. Beautiful. Reminds me of home. <laughs> Thanks for casting for you. Yeah. We're having zero kids today. So in the beginning, afterwards, I started to say that like everything since the beginning of the year, how we work so much, it's like it, it it's like our. It, it takes constant work to be thinking about the big picture, and it's so easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day things. Um, it gets so it's so easy to think about your own stress, your own, um, yeah, your own life. That it's it's actually a lot more difficult to think about how your decisions affect those around you. Uh, oh, that's important too. I'm not perfect. Like it's weird to say I'm speaking on behalf of food waste because I throw out food. I'm not perfect. Um, I throw out things. I still use coffee cups single-use coffee cups every so often and I think I heard this quote that was like the world doesn't need however many people doing things perfectly the world needs this many people doing things imperfectly like doing things as best as they can